Hey guys. Um, so I got the headlights put back together and they are back to stock. Got some halogens in there. Uh, just a couple H7s and uh, turn signals are set up. I still, so the headlight assembly is still, it's just snug. Uh, I still have to adjust it. But um, it's even got the, the center bulb in there and uh, we're ready to rock. So yeah, so I tried getting the HID to fit in there and um, it just wasn't gonna happen. And um, I did not feel like dealing with it. I just didn't. And the good thing about halogens is they do last a good long time. Um, HIDs probably last just fine, but yeah, I'm good. You know, I've, I've uh, got everything set up the way I want. I am missing a little nut right there. And um, so tomorrow, during my lunch break, I'm gonna run to Ace Hardware. I keep mentioning Ace Hardware, and that is because that's really the only hardware store I have nearby. And uh, they do sell stainless steel, uh, bolts, nuts, etc. And so that's what I'm replacing stuff with. Um, matter of fact, I bought some stainless Allens. I was missing all the, the bolts for the uh, lower fairing down here. And so I replaced them with some Allen, uh, stainless Allen uh, screws or uh, bolts and uh, went ahead and got washers just in case. I didn't want to poke through the plastic. Now this eventually will get replaced with carbon fiber, that lower fairing. And also, you probably saw that, stuff like that. I'm going to be replacing with stainless steel too, just because I want I want it to last. Um, I don't care necessarily how it looks. It does look good. I mean, like that. That looks good. Um, so I'll be replacing all that kind of stuff. Anything that's rusting is getting replaced uh, over time, not all at once. This isn't a show bike. This is a this is a bike that I ride. So look what came in the mail. My bar and mirrors. Um, I'll give you a gander at these. I like them. They look pretty good. They're they're a little on the small side, but they're super crisp. Um, they're polarized, and uh, that'll help with the sunlight. Um, I'm not going to put them on yet because I don't have my hand grips in. So as soon as those come in, I'll be putting those on and uh, give you a picture of that. Um, what else? I ordered my first carbon fiber part. Since the front windscreen was broken anyway, I decided to just go ahead and get my carbon fiber windscreen replaced. Um, it was a company, Tech Carbon, who has some pretty good ratings. They have, um, if not all the parts, nearly all the carbon fiber parts. I'm sorry for the shaky camera, but nearly all the carbon fiber parts for this bike. and. Um, so I'm gonna try and get everything I can from them so it's all matching in terms of quality. And uh, I know that there are better companies than Tech Carbon. Um, at least that's what people say. Uh, this fender will get replaced too eventually. It's in good shape. It's a little scuffed, but um, it's a fender. Um, yeah, so it's just coming along. This is just a quick update and um, just wanted you to know where I was at here. I also, um, <clears throat> this rat's nest back here for the taillight assembly. You know, I mean, that's just, let me just say something. I'm gonna rant. Don't do that. I mean, for crying out loud. <laughs> it's just lazy, in my opinion. Or just ignorance. One of the two, maybe both. But don't do that, you know. If you, if you don't know what you're doing, get some help from a buddy who does, but don't do that. Um, so I traced all the wires and um, I only had a black Sharpie and uh, you have to, you can see where I stopped and started and stopped and started again, but that's the circuit. That's what it looks like. And so I'm going to wire it back in that fashion, hopefully a lot cleaner than that. Um, and I'll be heat shrinking all the uh, connections uh, 
and probably soldering some and heat shrinking the soldered uh, connections. It's just some, you know, janky stuff like right, if I can get it to focus. Focus. I gotta focus. You can see it right there. And it's not that that's wrong, that, that at least connecting one wire to the other, it's leaving it bare like that. I mean, who knows how often that was shorting out. Um, these two LEDs, uh, I don't know if they work or not. I don't know if they were shorting out. But once I get um, my my wiring done, as a matter of fact, once I disconnect all this, I'm going to take those out and just direct connect them to the battery to see if they light up. And if they do, then I won't replace them. If they don't, then I have to replace them because you know that has to work for vehicle inspection. The license plate lights. So. Um, Coil pulled it out. I got the plugs replaced. I went with iridiums, and uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, let me find where did I put. Let me give me a second here. Okay. So another thing I want to say about working on a motorcycle. Um, so the plug was in. I'll say fair condition. Dang, I just can't get this thing to focus. It's just not going to happen. And I'm not a camera operator, so you guys you just have to deal with this. See if I can get it over here on top of the hood of the car. <laughs> That's absolutely no better. Whatever. So that, that plug right there um, is in fair condition, but both of the plugs were loose. Absolutely. I could have... I could have taken them out with my hand if I turned hard enough. Uh, there was no torque on them at all. So the iridium plugs that are in there now are in fact torqued and um, yeah, they're in there right. The, I will say um, in terms of uh, replacing them, definitely pull the coil out and um, get the wires and everything out of the way, the leads, and then do it that way. Uh, this one was not hard at all. And then this one I had to use uh, a box end wrench to get to it. That was the easiest way. And it was super, super loose. Um, once I put it back in, it was totally fine. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out, in a second here, is this is the result of the, one of the leads. Just fell apart. And then this one, um, can't really see down in there. It was disintegrating. One of the two, it was this one. The, uh, the clip, the retaining clip that holds it in, just completely disintegrated. Just uh, toast. So those were ready to be replaced. And the fact that it was the, the lead cylinder was loose, like that, that particular lead, was barely in the coil. I'm surprised I made it home without having serious misfire issues. Um, it's a shock to me that I made it home without having that kind of issue because it was just literally being held together by, oh man, I don't know, crazy. Um, yeah, so we're making progress, uh, I hope that once all my parts are in, so this I'm hoping I can get done before the weekend is out. I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, I don't have any paint for that. I guess I could go ahead and strip it completely out and then clean it up and repaint that. I'm just worried that I wouldn't be able to match that beautiful match job right there. You know, that's going to be really hard to match. <laughs> um, and it's okay that it's silver. Uh, I might go back to that. That doesn't bother me at all because it kind of pulls these two parts together, those two colors. So, um, yeah. So I should have that tail light done before this weekend is out. And then once the rest of the parts come in, the foot pegs, the grips, um, the front windscreen all come in. Uh, I'll put the old lid back on after, you know, obviously everything getting reconnected. 
I also am gonna wash down in there. That's just, I don't wanna leave it like that, it's gross. I'm gonna clean all that out. I've got some um, power clean, I think, Castrol power clean, well, I can't remember what the heck that stuff's called, the purple stuff. I'm gonna wash off the engine with that and get it all clean. And then uh, button everything up, wash the bike down, uh, take it for a shakedown run, and uh, go get my bike inspected. Hopefully the inspection goes well. And uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so here's the lights working. There's the low and high. Both of them come on. That's what I want. Uh, horn works again. It wasn't really working. Ooh, that doesn't sound though. There we go. That's better. Um, so, yeah, we'll be in business real soon. Uh, tail light does work right now, but you can see those two LEDs are not on. And I don't know if that's just a bad connection or just, you know, something in the right. Here's the, uh oh. Yeah, see, I got stuff to do. That's not coming on. And that should be coming on. Let's see if the front switch. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay, so the front switch is getting it. The back switch is not. So I've got to check that out, figure out what's going on there. Oh, that's no fun. Um, yeah, so I got work to do. And I got to get it all done before I do an inspection, like I keep saying. All right, guys, that's it. I'm, uh, I'm going to retire, wash my hands, and um, go put the kids to bed. All right. Thank you again for watching. Make sure uh, you subscribe so you can keep up to date with what I'm doing here. And uh, give me some suggestions, any ideas you have down in the comments below. Peace out.